So here we're going to show you how to create a stem wall. So this is similar to what we want to model. Um, this is the stem wall for the foundation of our house. So this is going to be something similar to what you see here. What I've done is created the profile of that inverted T for the stem wall. I've just drawn this in SketchUp. Assuming this is the shape of my floor plan, and again, you'll import this from Revit or draw it yourself, but you'll have a floor plan already drawn. So with those two things, that's really all we need to use this follow me command. So it's essentially a sweep. So it takes the profile. So I'm going to click on follow me and click on the profile that I want it to repeat. And I'm just going to work my way around the perimeter of my floor plan and it's going to create that. Now it gets kind of wonky here, so I'm just going to finish this here, and then I'm going to pull it in from the other direction to close it. Okay, so what that does is it creates a sweep of whatever that profile was. So I can delete this, and you'll see that I now have a three-dimensional stem wall that you can continue to model on top of.